trying to think of a way to test the Osmo Action 4 that I've just bought to do my vlogging with. And I want to test all the mounts and the different styles. This is actually a really good test right now, talking on camera whilst moving how the image looks. So that'll be, that'll be the first one. That'll be an interesting one. But I want to test the walk-in and I want to test uh, how easy it is to switch for me doing the vlogs whilst thinking about what I'm going to say. So that's today's video is going to be testing out the Osmo Action 4 but incorporating in the style of a mushroom hunt video. So I'm going to be looking for a mushroom today to take a photo of. Uh, will it be an epic mushroom? Probably not. Then It's not mushroom season, but I do want a portfolio worthy image of a mushroom. So even if the mushroom's half dead, um, I'm still going to try and get an image that I like. So that's today's video. Let's roll that epic B-roll. <laughs> For that some interesting mushrooms here though and get an image of that so I'm just gonna balance the flash on the edge of this stump just so I can get a better angle on this there we go um, starting to see quite a lot As you can see down here quite a lot of mushrooms some more down around the base of that tree there's quite a few here but they're um, a bit of an awkward angle to get to Ooh, what's that is that the jackpot of mushrooms oh I think it is oh look at that beautiful specimens There we go, and there's probably going to be quite a few more up through here, some little ones down here, and up over here, look. So they're all the same uh, mushroom, but they're just at different stages of decomposition, so these ones down here are the newer ones. And as they get, as they get uh, bigger, so they start off um, like a dome shape and then they flatten out and then they curl up when they're dying. Let's grab some images of those, there's some more around here. Some more of a, a few there. Yeah, let's grab some images of those. So, okay, so I'm gonna try and light this from below. Let's get rid of some of these. some of the distractions okay now 
I want to come in from over here, but I also don't want to trample these baby mushrooms at the same time. So this could be a little bit tricky. But there's just something about a group of mushrooms together like this. I just It just looks really nice. What I'm going to try and do, I can take the picture with the tops illuminated, which I guess would be the traditional way to do it. do is I want to get the gills illuminated underneath and almost leave the tops of the mushrooms in shadow so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right down underneath the mushrooms underneath the caps and just try and take it from there I don't want the entire scene in because compositionally if, if I was to get this whole um, group of mushrooms in it doesn't leave much to the imagination I think if you come in nice and tight and obviously I am using a macro lens as well. So if you come in nice and tight, it, it kind of fills the frame and it, I think it makes it look a little bit nicer. Let me know what you think in the comments, but you won't know what the wider shot looks like because uh, I'm not taking one. Okay, so although I do think I've got a really good image and that's what I was coming out for, um, I'm just gonna go up and have a look for some more and see what else I can find. Hopefully we'll get something even nicer than what we just got. Although I don't think that's possible. There's definitely a few mushrooms here. Where for photo? These ones here on the edge. Let's see how many there is. Look. from the twigs. Okay, so I'm really happy with that. I think it was a good test for the DJI and also I think I've got a really nice mushroom picture, but I won't know until I get back into Lightroom. Uh, that leaves me to say thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.